How do you know if God put someone into your life to stay? Well, that's what I'm talking about in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Justine Fulama and I talk about everything, faith, dating, relationships, and how to be happy single. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like the content, but let's get into today's video. So because of my recent Soul Tie series, I've noticed one question coming up again and again, and that is how to know if God put someone into your life. And I get it, right? Because if you have have such a strong soul tie connection with someone it's very hard to accept that you need to let go of them so I figured I'm gonna put together a few telltale signs that you can use in your current relationships no matter if romantic or not that will let you know if God put that person in there or if it's your own desire to be in a relationship number one is that it will feel like an answered prayer when God puts someone into your life a lot of times you will Will look back at that encounter with awe and feel like wow God really hit the nail on the head with this person because you will recognize the character traits and the opportunities that you prayed for that suddenly are manifesting in that person let's say you prayed for a guy who enjoys reading and then suddenly your first date is with a library well which is you know what I mean it's weird but could be right so you will look at this person and say Wow, I actually really wanted someone with these character traits. I really wanted something that has these opportunities. And why? Because God is present and He knows you. And if you ask Him for something that fits into His vision for your life, He's going to provide it. Because at the end of the day, He's going to put people into your life which don't just meet your requirements, but actually help you live out God's purpose for your life. And number two is that it feels like divine timing. I don't know if you guys have seen that video where Pastor Toure Roberts talks about the one and meeting Pastor Sarah Jakes, but I totally agree with him that when you meet the one, things will feel like they're in divine alignment. They just flow. Things will seem like they're too easy because the truth is when God puts someone into your life, there won't be a lot of back and forth, breaking up and getting back together. It will be clear. He is going to know what he wants. You are going to know what you want and things will progress naturally. So one way to know that this is actually ordained by God is because things are in divine alignment, there's a divine timing to it, and nothing feels out of place. Number three is that the other person will actually reciprocate your investment. Listen ladies, the man God has for you, you won't have to chase or you won't have to remind to pursue you. The beauty about being with the person that God put into your life is that they actually want to be in your life. You will find that that co-worker, that boyfriend or that friend will pursue and invest into the friendship or the relationship just as much as you do. You won't have to worry about feeling too needy or being too clingy because at no point will you feel like you're not enough because the other person will be so clear in their communication to you and actually appreciate your investment towards them. That's why it's so important to be realistic and understand that the one for you is for you and there won't be any confusion about it. And last but not least, a kind of small and short point is that there will be confirmation if God put the person into your life, again, you will have divine timing, but also you will see other people confirming it to you. You will see wise counsel being available. You will see other people talking to you about that person. And you will find that that relationship that the two of you have actually aligns with biblical values and things that are important in your spiritual life. So if there's confirmation that this person is actually good for you, then chances are God put them into your life to stay. Okay, girls, those were my five, um, no, four tips on how to know if God put someone into your life. I hope you enjoyed it, and I pray that they will help you make a wise decision and discern better in your current relationship. Of course, leave a comment below if you want to know more about soul ties or God's will for your relationship, and I will love to do that. I see you girls next week in my next video. Love and light.